So if we were to look at trait theory in modern times within a modern context or what we would call contemporary trait theory, we would understand that there is no one particular biological or um, psychological attribute to explain why people commit crimes. Every person is unique. Therefore, there are different explanations for why a person commits a particular crime. So committing a crime involves both personal and environmental factors. One without the other doesn't lead to crime. So what does that mean? Let's say a person is born with a personality characteristic, and we know that personality is inherited biologically from our parents. So let's say someone's born with a personality trait that would make them more likely to be criminal than others. If they're raised in an environment that discourages them acting out on those criminal or deviant impulses, then they're less likely to commit a crime. So just because you possess certain biological traits that might make you more likely to break the law, doesn't mean that you will engage in that behavior. You can learn through your environment, through the family that raises you or the people that take care of you, that socialize you, that it's not okay to give in to that deviant impulse. So simply having the biological characteristic in and of itself isn't what makes a person commit a crime and vice versa. Let's say you grew up in an environment where um, most of the people in your family are criminal. They do break the law. They do engage in criminal deviance you may personally uh, eschew or reject that type of behavior. Therefore, being in an environment where everyone is criminal doesn't make you a criminal, nor does being born inherently impulsive in an aggressive or deviant way doesn't mean that you automatically act on those impulses. So you need a combination of both personal and environmental factors that would lead to criminal behavior.